<clears throat> Hi Capricorn. So if the audio and the video are off, I'm really sorry. I've done everything that I can. Um, I'm not the only one having technology problems, so let's just chalk it up to high vibrations and uh, leave it at that. <laughs> I know there were a lot of people that were like super annoyed by it um, in the beginning of October readings, so I wanted to make a point to say something. Um, for this reading, instead of doing just the second half of October, we're going to look into Venus retrograde for um, all of the signs. So make sure you're checking your Venus sign also. And if you don't know what your Venus sign is, I do have a link in the description box below where you can go calculate your birth chart. Um, you do have to have your time of birth in order to get um, the most accuracy, your time and your place of birth. So. Um, Venus retrograde started on October 5th, and it will be retrograde in Scorpio, and then going back into Libra until November 18th, and then it will go direct in Libra, and then move through Libra again, and back into Scorpio, um, and it will not move into Sagittarius until January, so Venus is kind of, I like to use the word uncomfortable in Scorpio. Um, not necessarily, and she's also uncomfortable in retrograde, but, um, not picking on Scorpios, Venus just, there are certain signs that Venus does not like being in, and Scorpio is one of them. Sorry, my hair is really big today, so if I'm messing with it, that's that. So we're going to get an oracle card to kind of get like an overall energy for you guys for Venus retrograde. I hope October is going well for you so far. And let's see, that's the one that wants to come out. It like kept on pushing my finger. Finding balance. So this is the two of pentacles. So you guys may have a decision that you need to make this month in order to come into balance. We are still in Libra season. So Libra season is not just about finding balance. Sorry, they were upside down. <clears throat> it's not just about finding balance. It's also about treating yourself respectfully. Um, it's about receiving instead of giving all the time. You know, this is like, because we go from Virgo season to Libra season, Virgo season is about doing things for everybody else all the time. And <clears throat> I feel like with the three of wands, a lot of fire is coming out right now. So you could be dealing with a fire sign. But the Three of Wands and the Ace of Wands, there's an opportunity coming that I think you're going to need to make a choice on, but you've been waiting for this. The Ace of Wands is a gift from the universe, and when our eyes are closed or we're not really like open to accepting gifts from the universe, we don't see them coming. I feel like you guys are wide open and in fact made this opportunity show up. This could be in work, it could be in love. Or it could just be in life in general. And then we have the high priestess. These two work very well together. It's, you know, number one and number two in tarot. Or, I'm sorry. No, I'm, that's right. Number one and number two in tarot. I was thinking the fool, but the fool is zero. Um, the manifester and the intuitive. It's almost as if you guys are really alchemizing things right now. And with Saturn, Pluto, Mars, all in your sign, you feel the need to change something. It could be that you want to change locations, change directions, go somewhere else. I feel like you think that, that where you are right now in your life, whether that's situations or with people or in a certain location, it's like run its course. And you're ready to kind of move forward, move on. Five of Swords. The Five of Swords for me is kind of a deception of your own mind, almost like telling yourself that you can't do it. It's like the ego card. Um, it's limiting. It's limiting um, yourself from making the decision or saying that you're not going to be able to do it. And then the Three of Pentacles. But um, I feel like, oh, sorry, I'm just like all sorts of fidgety and... I mean, you guys are like hyped up right now. There's definitely a change happening for you on the horizon. And I think that you're making it happen or you're manifesting it to happen. Um, 
you don't want to stay in the same place that you've been in. You're tired of the same old, same old. The three of pentacles could be about team building. It could be about learning something new. But I feel like more than anything, you really want to start a new foundation somewhere else. Um, somewhere else in your life um, with new people, with new things. Uh, let's see what the three of wands is. Yeah, you could have a Sagittarius. We also have other signs here. Um, Gemini, Virgo, Pisces. Um, but temperance, you've been very patient for this. And this is also about balance. Temperance is also about balance. And um, I, I do feel that you guys have been very fidgety for months. And I understand, like, why. Because you're rising above situations and you're really tired of standing still and you don't want to have to deal with the same old drudging up of the same old crap over and over and over again. You know, Saturn is, like, pushing you guys to act and charge forward and get things done. And I think that you're like, I've been patiently waiting for this opportunity. Now it's here. So what are you going to do with it? And it seems like Venus retrograde is really giving you that chance to finish off, you know, because retrogrades are all about reevaluating, restructuring, like all the reads that you can think of, right? Um, to me, this is I have reevaluated everything during Venus retrograde, and now I'm ready to act. So I even feel like maybe October and November are going to be really big months for you guys to just push forward and finally get your stuff done. You know, you've felt stagnant lately and you felt like you can't get things taken care of. You've been really fidgety. It's like um, almost claustrophobic. The feeling's almost claustrophobic. Um, nothing's going right. Everything always feels like it's wrong. And it's almost... Um, like when the video, when the last video, the voice and the audio were off and so many people commented and they were just annoyed by it. And I mean, I could have just totally scrapped the message for you guys, but if you would have looked kind of underlying how the message was about you guys just being annoyed by everything and then that annoyed you even more, your buttons were pushed even more. It was like, what lesson is Saturn teaching you right now of patience? And of the value of the message instead of what things look like or, you know, looking at things in a totally different way because it's not going to be the way that you exactly want it to be. And the thing is, is if you were to look closer, you're actually getting everything that you have wished for with the Nine of Cups. Maybe it doesn't look exactly like you want it to. Maybe it's something that's totally different than what you thought you wanted, but now you actually want it. Whatever it is that you've been waiting for and you've been patient on and it kind of shows up unexpectedly in your life, you really manifested it this way. Even if it was like, I want, for example, if we say, I want a car and I want it to have all of these accessories on it. Well, maybe that car is not available, but you want a car, you need to have a car right now. So they show you another car, and it's a totally different color than what you thought you wanted it to be, but you get inside of it, and it's the most comfortable thing you've ever sat in, right? Something, and I know that's a really cheesy thing, but that's what I'm saying. Like, you manifest it exactly, and it has all of the same, you know, custom things that you wanted in the car. It just doesn't look the way that you thought it was going to look. Um, but it's everything that you really wanted that you never thought you wanted, you know? So the magician is the great alchemist. He has all the tools to do anything, to make anything that he wishes, right? So, and this is also very, re uh, you know, reminiscent of Sagittarius too. And Jupiter is going into Sagittarius in November, the beginning of November, and that's going to be in your 12th house, especially if you're Capricorn rising. So the gifts of Jupiter are expanding the gifts of the sign. You know, when we look at planets and what they do. So, you know, and I knew that this was going to come up, you guys. See, you've manifested a relationship or a connection. Could be friends, family. It doesn't have to be love. But the Two of Cups is like a soulmate relationship. And this is what you've been wanting, and this is what you've been manifesting. Um, 
this is what you kind of been, you've been waiting for this to happen, but then something shows up and it doesn't look exactly the same way that it's supposed to. And during Venus retrograde, those kind of surprises will happen. And it's like, but I wanted a blonde and I got a brunette, but she's everything that I've ever wanted, but I've never, you know, that exactly like the kind of car analogy. Um, so really keep your eyes open for the things that are coming towards you because I feel like you might miss it. Yeah. See, Four of Cups on, I feel like you might miss it on the High Priestess. If you don't, keep your intuition on point. If you don't, keep your options open. If you don't open yourself up to things looking different than the way you originally thought they were going to look, and then something's offered to you and you turn it down because you're like, but that's not what I wanted, but maybe it was. And maybe you're because it's not the certain person that you wanted it to be. That's where the deception of the mind comes in. You're telling yourself either you don't deserve it or, nah, Capricorn's not saying I don't deserve it. Capricorns are saying I deserve it. Um, you guys are like on the height of everything right now. You guys are really anchoring every other sign with the, the way the planets are. And after Lilith came out of your science now in Aquarius, things are much more clear in the love department. But now you're like, see, you're in charge. See how this Mars energy is making you in charge, but it's also kind of deceptive at the same time because you do feel like, okay, now I can get everything I want. I can manifest anything that I want. <laughs> Betsy said so. But don't try and control it. By deceiving yourself and saying, no, that's not what I wanted. Maybe it was what you wanted. You're just not giving it a chance. You're not giving it a try. And I'm not throwing shade at you. Like, maybe it really isn't what you want, all right? Maybe it isn't what you want. But then you go back and you, like, go back to the drawing board and you manifest again. And then somebody else comes back with the same kind of qualities as that first person that you didn't really want. Maybe a little bit more than what you wanted before. But why am I getting so complicated here? Because these are the little picky things that you guys are doing right now. And it's okay. Again, I'm not throwing shade at you guys. You're just very particular right now, exactly the way that you want things to go. And I'm trying to broaden your horizon a little bit. Um, being a fellow earth sign, I understand being stubborn and wanting things to go exactly the way I want them to go. I want everything to look just like this. But where's the movement in that? You can't just turn away from something that might really be everything you want. It just doesn't look like it. You've been waiting for this for so, so long. So don't let the energies, don't even let Venus um, deceive you right now into thinking. And honestly, there are people coming back from the past, relationships from the past. Um, I'm telling everyone to not make serious decisions about any relationship that comes back from the past. If you're already in a relationship, then I do feel like things will kind of come up where you guys can kind of heal from it, but you're trying to find this balance. You need to make a decision in your life to try and find some kind of balance, um, and deceiving yourself isn't going to be that, isn't going to find the, that kind of balance. I feel like the deception of your own mind might throw you off course completely, and you don't want to do that. So... Really look within. So you could be dealing with a Virgo also. We have the Hermit. Could also be dealing with an Aries here that is being deceptive towards you. But there could be a Hermit in your midst, a Hermit, a Virgo in your midst that you actually like feel like is a team player, you know? Like Virgos and Capricorns work very well together because um, we have a lot of the same mindsets. We're a little hard on ourselves like individually but we always give so much to the other person that it's a very good give and take relationship. So if you are with a Virgo and there's this building, like a foundation starting to build, 
with them. Um, this is really something that you've been waiting for. I almost feel like it's like a jump start um, forward in your life. We do have the Eight of Cups, ooh, Fire Sign, King of Wands, Eight of Swords, and the Chariot, Seven of Cups. There's that Scorpio energy that is going to bring some clarity to you. There's the Two of Pentacles again and the Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck. All right. <clears throat> so I feel like you guys are extremely confident right now and know what you need to leave behind. Yes, you could be dealing with a fire sign. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Sagittarius or an Aries, but also I feel like there is this confidence level within you right now. I mean, you're 10 feet tall. You don't have, I mean, like you guys are really anchoring everything that's going on in the Zodiac right now. And when we have that much power, you know, we can make it go to our heads. And I don't, and I know that you guys aren't letting it go to your heads completely. Some of you might be, but the thing is, is when we have that much power, it can also be extremely stressful with the eight of swords. I feel like it's, you're so confident about what you want in your life now. Like there's no more question on, um, what is it that I want? It's how am I going to get it? And you're already manifesting it. I'm telling, you know, I tell everybody that the, the energy is so potent. The veil between the spiritual world and the 3D world is so thin right now that manifesting your thoughts are easy. Like all you have to do is have a thought and it comes into fruition, like easy. So, but even being in that much power can also be really stressful because and this is, this. I feel like this is you being hard on yourself, the Eight of Swords. Like, don't be so hard on yourself. Just because things aren't working out exactly the way that you want them to, I know how picky you guys are. It's okay. It is, I mean, I'm a Virgo. Perfectionism, come on. Like, I get it. I totally, totally get it. Um, and again, I'm so not picking on you. I just think that it can get very, very confusing because you know where you want to go and you know what you want. And maybe you are still confused about exactly what that is. So open up to the universe and allow the energy of the chariot, could be dealing with the cancer also, but allow the energy that's confusing you, allow the energy of the chariot to move you through the seven of cups. L allow the energy of the chariot to take you to the cup that is going to be the best for your soul's growth. Instead of feeling like you have to be in charge and make all the decisions all the time, just make the decisions for yourself because you're manifesting so many things. Um, and try to be open to what comes to you because you do have a lot of choices. And again, even though I think this Scorpio energy, this Venus in Scorpio time is going to bring a lot of clarity, the things that you need to leave behind so you can open yourself up to more possibilities. I still think these decisions, the Two of Pentacles, again, we have Two of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords will keep you vacillating, will keep you going back and forth. And um, that could drive you crazy if you do that to yourself. So that's why I'm saying keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes open for this Ace of Wands because you are getting what you want and things are working out for you if you're doing the work. Let me be like 100% real with everyone. When I say that the energy is potent for things to work out for you, the energy is potent for you to manifest anything, the energy is potent for you to get everything that you've desired and you've been wishing for and manifesting and hoping for. But if you sit here and you say, yeah, well, that's not what I wanted. I wanted something totally different. And you don't open up your mind to the possibility that maybe it is what you manifested. It just came to you in a different packaging.
because you are in charge, and that can be a very deceiving place to be in, right? You can deceive yourself, your ego can deceive yourself, and it can deceive others, or somebody else is deceiving you. I don't feel like, I feel like this is more of a deception of yourself, of this is what I wanted, but now I've got something else, and it, now I'm really confused, and did I really, really want that? Like, don't vacillate too much, because I feel like you might miss the opportunity. Allow Venus to clear your mind. Allow Venus to bring that clarity to you and really open yourself to the possibility of rebuilding. This could also be maybe you do need to take a time out and not be out in the world so much. You know, the hermit may be saying, like, maybe you do need to take a time out and, like, rebuild things in your life so you're not so out, out there, right? All right, my dears, I, I mean, I know that I'm a little, I was, I like, had to stop myself there for a minute. I'm like, I'm being kind of harsh, but first of all, you guys don't, I mean, you guys understand that what I'm saying is, like, not personal by any means. This is the energy that, that I've got from you going to you, right? Um, and you guys are such a strong sign, and you're in such a strong position right now that you can handle it. I'm just simply like asking you to kind of open up your mind um, and see things a little bit more clearly than you're allowing yourself to see them. And um, try not to be so picky, like nitpicky. I don't screw up the audio and the video on purpose. Like, do you really think that I did that to like piss you off? Because I would never, I would never. Capricorns are one of my favorite signs. I get you guys, I understand. So, I love you so much. Um, the soulmate readings by sign are um, available. You can go to the description box below this and um, either you can get it on Vimeo or you can go to my website and order it there and have a private YouTube link sent to you. Um, they've been really, really great so far. So like all of the signs had really great readings this month. So, um, And if you would like a personal reading, uh, check out my website for loseintuition.net. I love you guys, and I will see you for November. Bye.